Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I want to say the first thing to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope all your wishes come true. And I hope that all your desires, your plans, ideas that you have for the future become a reality. I'm also a Taurus. And I want you to know that I wish you the very, very best uh, in the month of May. Not only in the month of May, okay? All year round. Happy birthday to all of you. Okay? This tarot card reading is for Taurus. Please allow me to see what is important to know for Taurus for the month of May. I'm open to receive for Taurus. I'm open to receive for Taurus. I will cut the deck, begin pulling cards for you. Okay, let's see. My goodness. Everybody, okay? Everybody, I feel the 12 zodiac signs are going to be getting um, justice, okay? Maybe it's because we have been dealing with so many situations in our lives, okay? This uh, can also be the lingering, okay, for um, um, 2020. Okay, let me see if I can fix the light. Okay, let's see for love, for my beautiful Taurus. For my beautiful Taurus love, what is important to know for Taurus for the month of May when it comes to love? Oh my gosh, soulmate connection, okay? You will be dealing with a soulmate connection and you saw me shuffling those cars. <laughs> Actually, I just pulled that same car for uh, Aries <laughs> and this is very surprising me because they have uh, justice and you Taurus also have justice. So you might be dealing with a fire sign I feel that some of you will be dealing with a fire sign. Some of you will be dealing with an earth sign. Okay, let's see. For Taurus, what is important to know? Guidance. Let's cut the deck. Oh, my goodness. Okay, forgiveness. Okay, so for Taurus, it's going to be important in the month of May to forgive, forgive yourself, first of all. If you think, okay... Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Maybe I should have, I could have, okay, um, mm -hmm. acted in a different way, say different things, handle a situation, okay, in a different way. It is going to be important for you to forgive yourself, forgive others, and begin letting go, okay? Why? Because this is the only thing, okay, that I do see is going to help you heal from the inside out now. You are protected, okay? You are protected, and the color purple is, is highly telling me um, you are very, very intuitive, okay? If you uh, are looking for answers, okay? This is telling me the answers are not going to be outside of you. They are inside of you, in your heart. Follow your heart. Follow what you really want in life. And if you do that, okay, you will not betray yourself. You will not betray others, and you will be truthful to you and everyone else around you. Okay, so in the past, for you, Taurus, I do feel that uh, up to some point, okay, either uh, you were not able to solve situations in the best way possible. This is indicating to me, okay, feeling off for a period of time. Either you wanted to say yes and you say no. You wanted to act upon something and you didn't act upon whatever were your plans and ideas, okay? You wanted to end something and you didn't end it. You continue putting energy into that, okay? It's like, okay, um, not being able to act up in the way that you really wanted to because maybe something was preventing you, okay? Uh, and this is all contrary, okay? Not acting when you needed to act, not speaking when you needed to speak, not loving or not allowing yourself to feel when you needed to feel. And this is why I do feel, okay, not using your talents and abilities in you advantage. Okay, now, there's love, okay, there's love, there's a lot of love around you. Um, but I think that up to some point, there are things that burden you, that worry you that you are holding either very heavy, okay, very heavy in your heart or in your, emo in your emotions, okay? This is at times what I feel, okay, it's a little too much. 
let's go to the soulmate um, connection okay when we have soulmate connections in our lives either this can be a strong feelings and strong strong attachments a strong connections is the kind of energy that you feel at times okay i don't know why i feel like this i don't know why i think about this person in this way uh, or why am i doing this so much but it is okay it is what it is it's either because you recognize something in that person that you don't see on somebody else is the connection is the soul um, calling up unto that person okay it's something that you cannot avoid it's something that you cannot deny and this is why i say okay as long as you follow your heart and you know within yourself that you are doing the right thing then everything should be okay now let me tell you soulmate connections sometimes come into our lives to teach us a lesson the lesson can be either okay you know what i learned so much from this experience and I understand it's not going to work, close the chapter, close the cycle, and move to something else. Or it can be, okay, you know what? We, we have this mutual feelings, this mutual strong connection. We had hurt each other or something has happened, okay, but we can move past this. We can evolve together, okay? We can evolve together because we are going to both of us fix the situation whatever it has happened in the past okay but if you both are not able to move together to what is next then it has to end you learn the lesson it's hard it can be difficult but you understand okay it's it's not working okay i have to move to something else i do feel for many of you um either this broad um Tears, okay? I see tears in your past. I see uh, sadness, depression, arguments. This can be within the family or because how you are feeling in this situation. Either you have received messages from this person um, already or you are about to receive, so, receive a message, okay? This message to me is a positive message. I don't feel anything negative about this but i do feel that you are going to be searching in your emotions okay like for example you might be telling yourself no i better not go there again because it is clear to me that it doesn't work or yes you go there you're gonna go there you're gonna fix the situation you are going to be putting in ener back and en energy back into the into this okay now one minute you can feel yes and one minute you can feel no okay this is indicating to me many Torahs are going to be emotionally out of balance also there are things in you in the past okay either in this relationship or in this situation in this connection that is not going to be easy to let go especially if it's trust issues especially if it was someone that you recognize okay no i do see i do understand that this soulmate connection um this person is selfish is um i don't know he can have uh things in his character okay that are telling you you better not go there maybe he gets easily mad he is impulsive he is immature he is um, just looking for 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 his own interest, okay, and not um, valuing your love or your time or the connection, okay. Now, because of that, I do feel that some of you are gonna be saying, "I better not go there." Let's leave that as how it is now, okay. If you have ended, because I do see the tears, the misunderstanding the no communication now you're moving ahead in life in the month of may money is not going to be an issue for you i see stability for some of you maybe you can be thinking about buying a home buying a car buying something that um that you had been wanting for some of you i do feel that this is more could be more into the okay you have stability you have your home you have new projects and ideas those projects and ideas you are going to be able to move them forward 
when it comes to your health and your body, please pay attention because for some of you, I do feel um, issues with communication. Maybe you cannot communicate effectively with your partner or I also feel for some of you problems with the legs. This can also include uh, circulation problems, okay? Circulation problems. Um, some of you will be visiting the doctor. Maybe you are the patient or you are taking someone to the doctor. Let me see. Okay, I do. Uh, yes, definitely. Excuse me. For some of you, I do feel headaches, migraines, uh, or being highly active in the mind thinking um, how to do something, when to do something. For some of you, I feel uh, like, aha, uh -huh, okay, I understand now. It's a realization. It's an understanding into a situation. It's having clarity. That clarity is going to allow you also to continue moving ahead in life, okay? In like, okay, what is next for me to do? Things can be happening for you very fast. This can be all due, okay, because you guys have two aces. You have the ace of um, Pentecost. You have the ace of Source, And also you have fast movement, okay. This can indicate either you are moving to a new home, you are purchasing a home, you know how, you know when. And it is important for you to know that the changes that you are going to be going through in the month of May, are for the better, okay? At times, changes can be very stressful stressful, because you have to do a lot of things, okay? Like for, for example, it can be packing. Some of you might travel. Some of you might go visiting someone. Some of you decide, you know what? I have too much class, too much closet. <laughs> too much closet in the closet. No, no, no. Too much clothes in the closet. I don't need to have that much. Some of you are going to be clearing out, okay? Taking, taking things out of your house or reorganizing them. Uh, maybe this is you moving into a new home, okay? Now, what is important for you, Taurus, in the month of May, okay, is a recognition, okay? What needs your attention? What doesn't? Where, in what area of your life you feel like, okay, maybe the passion of the inner fire is not there. Maybe this can be a project, okay? This is a project or an idea that you had in the past, and now you are feeling like, no, I just don't feel like that anymore. I used to think that I love this person, that I wanted to be with that person, but I don't feel like that anymore. Uh, why? Because... This either it already brought you or will be bringing you um, a new understanding or something that you learn. Okay, I can even describe this because I do feel it's something that you had learned about that person or having clarity about someone or in your relationships that... Um, that, uh, that you understand, okay, that you understand either it is not good for you or that you're gonna strike, okay? You're gonna strike and either you fight for what you want, but this is going to bring you clarity, okay? Clarity, either if you were dealing, if you were in a situation where someone lied to you, someone hide something from you, someone convinced you of something that is not, you will have justice, okay? Things are going to go in your favor. You will win. You will come on top of the situation. Also, you being on top of the situation is going to allow you in the feeling, this is not for me. I don't need to put energy into that, okay? And the clarity. I know now. I see. I understand and now you're moving forward in life, okay? And moving forward in life and what is best for you and what is right for you, okay? If this is a soulmate connection and you decide, okay, let's continue, okay? Let's continue, let's build together, okay? Let's uh, 
continue putting energy, but we are not going to continue putting energy how we done it in the past. This is either we change and we grow together or we end it, I leave you behind and I continue my life in this growth, okay, without you. It's either with or without, but it is clear to me that you told us will be escalating, okay? We'll be escalating your learning, you coming on top of the situation. If someone has caused you pain in the past, um, you will heal that, okay? You will heal that and you will have clarity um, either about a person or a situation that it will also allow you to release it or feel better, okay? Feel better one way or the other. Thank you. Happy birthday, Taurus. Please don't just watch this reading. Don't go anywhere just yet. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you will be here with me for uh, June readings. Thank you. Happy birthday. Bye.